Agricultural Bank of Namibia's Agri-Advisory Services Division offers training to farmers and bank clients in various farming enterprises in all 14 regions of Namibia through face-to-face -face sessions. The AgriLearn online platform will share production content on various agriculture farming enterprises to build the knowledge of farmers from all walks of life. Join us as we embark on this virtual journey towards sustainable farming as we zoom into the basics of farm infrastructure. Good day, farmers. I am John Fenter. I'm the Livestock Mentor for Agri Advisor with the Vision AgriBank. And I want to talk to you today about handling facilities for cattle. You need on your farm, facilities is necessary for all your cattle operations. It doesn't matter how many cattle do you have, you need some facilities to do the handling on the farm. Also, the handling facility is useful to restraining individual animals for management practices like vaccination, like those, like injections for treatment of sickness, like dehorning, for branding, for castration, for everything that you want to do, you need the facilities. When you look, look at the facilities, you need some sorts of pins to get them together. But when you're planning your any facilities and you want to design it, you should also think in the future, what you want to do in the future and how many cattle do you want in the future. Because it's very expensive to put on any facilities. And you have to start from the beginning to make sure that the money you put in is worth worth. And therefore, you have to make it more worth worth more permanent structures and not temporary structures that you put on. So when they look at what you need, you need some sorts of pins. In this pin, is the first one that you need is in the holding pin. So when they get cattle coming to the, to, from the felt, you take it in the holding pin, enormous in the holding pin. There's also is a water available because sometimes the cattle have to stand over overnight in the holding pin. And then you further on, you're going to, the holding pin is normally a big pin or a big crawl that your cattle is standing in. And they need a lot more space for them to stand in. Then you're going to separate in, in when you start want to work it in catching pins. Now the catching pin is a very small pin. And this is normally five, 15 meters by 15 meters by 15 meters. So the cattle can't run around in too much inside it. And also here you are going to have to start with some sorting of the animals, individual groups, you can go in there. And from the catching pin, then you go into the crowding pin. Now your crowding pin is at the backside of your manga. And this is where the cattle line up to come in one to one inside your manga. So you need the manga on the farm and you can't work without the manga. In the manga, the structure of the manga, the height of the manga should be plus minus 1.5 meters and not less than 1.5 meters. Then also you have in the white, the, the, the white of the, of, of the manga should not more the inside of night from the horizontal bars, the pipes or maybe the poles. And the white should not be more than 70 centimeters. And the length of your manga should at least be, be to keep it up to four to five big animal. In front of your manga, you can put in a neck clamp or maybe a head catch. <coughs> and the, with the head catch, you can cut the cattle on the head and then you have to, it's available that you can give injections. The head is available and the neck is open. You can work on the neck, work with the, neck, with the head. You can put on some ear tags. You can look at the age determination to look at the teeth and to see how many teeth there is. is into, and then you can handle the cattle much better. Also, the smallest calf you can handle in the head catch. So you catch the, the, the calf, it's standing up above, and then you can do the castration, you can do the branding, and you can do the dehorning on the calf. Also with your manga, you can put some footing inside it, some concrete, but it should be structured so that the animals will not slip when they're running around or moving inside, inside the manga. And then at the end of the manga, you put on a gate to close the gate with an automatic hatch, but when you close it, it may fall down and it will close. So when you're working with small calves, the calf can turn around inside the manga and go back. So when you do vaccination in the manga and the, you've, you've done with the vaccination, the calf will go outside, but now the gate is closed, it can't go outside, and they go, uh, mix, don't mix with other animals that are not really vaccinated. So if you also in front of your manga, 
you can put on a squeeze chute. Now the squeeze chute is a, a, a crack is standing there and on them is horizontal pipes. It can be loosened when the calf is coming in, you squeeze the calf, hold it there, it's standing still, and now you can dismantle some of the pipes and make an open spaces for your for branding or for castration. And also in front of the squeeze uh, chute, it could be put on a head catch to catch the cattle who's standing still there. But never catch any cattle <clears throat> when you don't want to work with them because you can be injured inside it. So you also, when you look at injuries, you have to, all your facilities should be safe for, safe for animals and safe for the handler who work in the crawl. So when you look at the fencing around in your handling uh, pens, it should at least be 1.4 meters, but when you're going to your catching pen and your crowding pen, it should be the same than your uh, manga, that should be 1.5 meters high. And also you can put on some crossbars across on, on top of, of your fencing, so to make it much stronger with uh, pipes or maybe at the wooden poles, so that the animals can't jump out of the crawl and you can handle it inside the crawl. Also you have to, to make sure that you have a weight, a scale that you can weigh the animals. So the scale is there, not only for marketing animals, but a useful tool in marketing animals. You weigh your animals, you have the weight of the animal and you can negotiate about the price because you know what is the animal's weight. And also, but very important about the scale, it is also to measure the performance of the stock. And this is where you want to have a scale, is to look at the measurement of the performance of your, of your farming enterprise. Okay, also you have to make sure inside your manga, <coughs> the area there should be smooth. And there's a no, no obstacles inside it. When the animal is moving inside the manga, that can be in, uh, injured the animal. And at the back of your head catch, <coughs> then you can put on the sliding gate. And to open the gates, may, maybe sometimes an animal is collapsed inside the manga, then you can't get it out and it's stuck in the manga. Now you can open the sliding gate and you can release the cattle from out of the manga, from the side of the manga. And very important is also our gates in our fencing, in, in our working pen, fence should be very strong so that the animals know the running can go away. So you can't go for dropper uh, gates, you have to go with heavy duty steel gates to put on in your crawls and on your working space. Okay, also part of your uh, pens is your sorting pens. It is very comfortable to have sorting pens in front of your manga. So when the cattle is coming out from the manga, then you can sort it in different groups. So if the cows and the calves are together, then maybe you can sort it here for cows going in di one direction, the hyphen is going to one direction, and the toll is going to other direction in different crawls. And they can be very, very, very useful for you to work on in the crawl and very easy to work your animals. Okay, the, the loading ramp is part of your handling facilities. And you need a loading ramp for loading or unloading animals. And the structure could be in different ways. <coughs> so it can be a, a complete, uh, a permanent structure, a standing gear, or maybe it can be mobile, or maybe it can be adjustable. So the adjustable one is you put on the block and tackle in front and you can put it down to, for, to lower it for, for, for bucket, to load the buckets, or maybe to lift it up and also to uh, load the double deckers. <coughs> but if you want to go to instruct, with the construction on, on the loading ramp. <clears throat> the height of the slope should plus minus the height of your truck is 110 centimeters. And the height from the, the slope to the manga on top is also 1.5 meters. And you don't uh, should that your uh, loading ramp going too straight, too far straight to your vehicle. Then the animals is a problem too of climbing. So you are going to a long way down in this, the length of the loading ramp should be plus minus six meters long. So if the construction is permanent and is standing up at 1.10 centimeters, then it's too high to loading a small trailers or maybe small buckies. And then you need another loading ramp close to this one with a lower band so that you can load the bucky and the trailer. The width of, of your loading ramp should be more than your manga. The manga is 70 centimeters, but the loading ramp is 80 centimeters. So because you load animal, you don't want to work with animal, and you don't want every, any injuries inside in the, in the, in the uh, manga, uh, manga when you go into the trucks. It also, it should not be wider than the 
the opening of your truck. If it's wider than the opening of your truck, then there's a narrow space that the cattle has to run inside it, and they can injure it itself there and make some bruises when you're going to slaughter the animals. So we make sure that if the width is 80 centimeters, the height is 1.5 centimeters, and the length is six meters from your loading ramp. Okay, if small stock is part of your farming business, then it is necessary that you also have any facility for your small stock to do the man uh, management practices on the farm, like vaccination and like those. Like those. So when you're coming on the design of a small stock and the facilities, you have to make it easy for yourself and the handling of the animals as e much easy as possible for yourself. So the design is over to you to how your grass will look like and how your manga will look like. But also think about to make it easy, to make it comfortable, and that the animals should be safe inside it. When you look at this manga here in front of us, we've got the steel manga here, but in there are some cages where gates be separated inside here. Because small stock is sometimes difficult to take small stock inside the manga, and now we're going to the first gate and we close the gate, and so we fill up the whole manga. And when we're working with animals inside this manga, you don't have to work inside the manga. You can stand outside and do the vaccination and the dose from outside. And also in the back, you can see there's some corridors that are coming in. So the end then they're coming in a crowding pen and therefore they're going through the manga. In front of the manga is sliding gates for sorting the animals. So you can take the small stock and maybe from the old ewes are going one side, young ewes going to the other side and uh, withers going to the, the other side. And in front of the, the manga, you sit into sorting pens. And therefore, you can sort all your, your animals because in different groups in the, in the sorting pens to make it very much easy and, and comfortable for yourself to work there for. So the construction about it is about to yourself to how you want to do it, but make it easy for yourself and make it practice as possible for yourself. But before you start your handling facilities, maybe in the cattle or maybe on the sheep, is take a piece of paper, draw your plans, take the measurements and get it on the plan, on the paper, and then you go into the ground and you put it on the ground and make it uh, together there. That's it for now. Join us next time for more valuable insight. Make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel to avoid missing out on new content. Also, follow us on Twitter, Facebook and Instagram pages for more content.